Welcome, Soccer. How are we doing, mate? You good? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're on the show. Yeah. We previously had Charm. And I know you've been a, you've debunked the moon landing and you've bunked it and you've sorted it out. Pyramids as well. But you are here. Pyramids. Yep. You're, you know, let's not forget that. Just a pyramid thing. Get that going. <laughs> if you have anyone's watched it, no one's watched it. Uh, no, right. yeah. So <laughs> my dad did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Make him watch this as well. Yeah. But you're here for a particular reason. Yeah. I want you to either prove or disprove ghosts. 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 Okay. Are ghosts real? Will be the first question I ask you. The one hundred percent. Okay. Prove it. But you've had someone on this channel who's met ghosts. So are you proving it? That's Is that proof? <clears throat> right. Ghosts. Okay. Let's let's go back a sec. Let's go back a sec. Because I think I probably asked you the uh the summit question of to say prove it. Let's step back. So you believe in ghosts. Yeah. Correct? Okay. First of all, let's understand why do you believe in ghosts? Because they're real. Great. Right. Why do you believe they're real? Because we see, we all see them every day. So you've seen a ghost? Every day. You, everybody does. Right. Okay. What was the last ghost you saw? Ta or what happened? Give us your, okay. Give us an example of what happened in the situation. Go. Well, they were switching my light bulb off earlier. The ghosts were switching Yeah, he does it bulb. to annoy me. I think it's Thomas Edison. Right. So you never have a ghost try and switch your light bulb off? No. Are you sure it's just not faulty electric? I know you're well into electrics. It sounds like very faulty electric. No, no, because he shuts there. the doors as well. Right. Bad hinge doors? No, no, the solid doors then. They've been in since about 1930. Right, okay. Okay, so let's let's piece it for the listeners and viewers. You have active ghosts daily that alternate your lights and close and open your doors. Well, they yeah? do more than that, yeah. They're just yeah, okay, what, what, what more? Does not everybody have this? No, they don't. So for myself, I've only ever seen that I feel one ghost. I've only had one interaction, but I was half asleep. Okay. A ghost hunter did say that it sounds like a real, because it's normally at two or three o'clock o'clock in the morning is where it normally would happen, but I think I was daydreaming, and it was like dreaming, and it was like all over the place. It would definitely be daydreaming because it's three o'clock at night. Okay. But I was dreaming. I haven't had an interaction like that. So so you have lights turn on daily. You also have doors open and closing. That's correct. I, do you see what I mean? Right. Right. You've obviously got a switch. It's all the way over there. Right, we can't see that. It's it, Ignore the child seat. It's all the way. You see it? It's there. Well, no, because it's pitch black. It's there. Right. It's that dark thing there. Right. That's the only light switch. Let me go switch my light on. Thomas! Brilliant. Thomas, lad, you've got to stop this. I know, I know you invented him. We all know he stole the idea. I anyway. I don't think he invented the light switch, though, did he? No, but he switched the bulb off. How, how, so off what? Back. He just invented a bulb that was on 24-7. That's it. That's it. Is this true? He's here now. Do you want me to ask him to come on? That would be good for the podcast or the the, 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 the chat in all fairness. It'd be pretty good. Tom. He's, he's gone. He's gone. They, he's they gone. don't like being on film, do they? That's why we can't film. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Right. So we've, you've proven straight away that ghosts are real, yes. which is great. You've given us physical proof more than, you know, more than a lot of other channels or anyone else. And if you've actually got physical evidence. I've not that, seen Essex ghost hunters do that, have you? I haven't seen him now. He is good. He's good. He's good, he's good but yeah. I have not seen him. Well, he's good. Have they shown us anything like that? They haven't shown us a real ghost. No, I haven't. No. Okay. So you've got evidence there. You've proved it. Yeah. How, how else would you, if people would say, oh, that's a scam. Someone obviously turned it off. How else would you uh, prove to people to say, you know what? Or convince people who are non-believers. Why are ghosts real? Have I'm you got a car key? Not on me. No, but, but do, do, is the right to have them in the house? Yes. Yeah, did they ever go missing? 
Yes. And you're like, oh, I swear I left. I always leave the car key there, right there in that pot in the yeah. kitchen. And it's just, just not there sometimes. That pot in kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> that pot in yeah. kitchen. <laughs> uh, where, where, where do you think they've gone? They've been moved. How else have they got out of the pot? Right. Okay. I don't understand. I thought everybody knew ghosts were real. So you're thinking misplacing items is due to ghosts and paranormal activity, yeah? Well, no, you can, I'm just I'm just clarifying because what I'm doing is I'm pretending I'm a non-believer, so I'm trying to go one second. Like, you need to make me believe here because like I I don't I normally think that's due to me being misplaced, but you're now telling me this is a well. No, there is chat. There is a chance that you just misplace something sometime, but that's why I said car key because usually everybody puts a car key in the very same right. spot every single time. Okay, so car keys. Misplaced. Yeah, driving they don't like cars, do they? Because they had like horses and carriages. They think it's a bit too, too much. Okay. Are they not ghosts from the modern era, or is it all like from like nineteen? I've not met one yet. I've not met one yet. From the modern era. Yeah, right? I think we lost. I think we lost the spirituality to become a ghost because it seems to stop at like. They've still all got the neck things on. The neck things. The neck things. Yeah, big puffy neck things. That's the Victorian era. Yeah. yeah. Pre Thomas Edison as well, though, actually. But... <laughs> yeah. Ironic, that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. So they turn on the light. Do you want me to talk about they... the first time I ever saw a ghost? I think that would help us because we're, we're painting a picture here that you are somewhat psychotic. So, but let's just try and bring it back a little bit and say, cool. You first saw one. How old was you? What happened? So it was recent. It was about uh, six months ago. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add this bit in for context, but just so like people can understand why I didn't believe in ghosts at that time. So mm -hmm. I came home from work. The kids were out uh, with a grandparent and my partner was home. And there was a man coming down the stairs. Big, big, strong looking guy. Um, very different looking to me, if you know what I'm hinting mm -hmm. at. And I was like, what's going on, babe? There's a, there's a man in the house. And she went, no, no, that's, that's a ghost. Right. And that was the first time I saw a ghost was when, uh, what was his name now, the ghost? I've not seen him since, weirdly. Um, Don't. Mainly just this Thomas Edison guy. Go on. Darius, it was his name. Darius. Darius. He had a big vest on. Big arms. So he was probably from the modern area. He didn't have a neck thing on. That was the first ghost I saw. Since then, oh, since okay. then, I've just been seeing him around. So is it just, is it mainly males? No, there's women sometimes as well. Okay. Uh, okay. So you obviously your partner can see him as well. She can see him regularly. Uh, yeah, she gives the, she gives one of the men a bath every now and again because he gets a bit dirty. He, he rolls around in the garden, you see. So she says, leave me alone. I'm going to give him a bath for 25 minutes. He's a bit shy. I'll, right. I'll sort him. Okay. Do you want okay. to debunk something proper? Because everybody knows ghosts exist. Yeah, yeah. No. I, think that, I think that's a perfect place to stop, right? And you, you've you've clarified that not only are you psychotic, you're probably going to get a divorce soon. Right, because of ghosts. Because of ghosts. There's yeah, one behind you on your right shoulder there, in that other room. Left shoulder. And that right. it keeps looking out the window. Oh, just looking at the window here. Yeah. Does that lead outside? No. Oh, yeah, so there's one in that room there, then. All right. I think it's Thomas Edison. I mean, it's been great. Great having you. Um, Don't call me. I'll call you. But we'll sort him out. Guys, if you want to see Socket again in, in the next episode, or we'll just delete the channel and block him and say we don't have one, put it in the comments. Thanks, mate. So what, what do you actually want to debunk? Or? You've debunked it. You've done it. Yeah, let's cut it. Okay.